Here's one of the last exercises when it comes to just the basics here. So notice this time I am using parentheses. I am using multiplication and addition for this one. Matter of fact, I'm using uh, multiplication twice in the second one here. So nothing crazy. Grammar has not changed. She's the exact same idea. I'm hoping that you'll notice that, you know, now that you produce the uh, parse trees for this that you'll notice a certain order to them which should make sense so go ahead and draw a parse tree for them and then when you drew the parse tree did the tree solve the actual problem from bottom up correctly and did the grammar support the precedence of those operators correctly so go ahead and do this last exercise when it comes to our grammars now with operators done with some type of precedence and we'll go from there These really started getting long, didn't they? Bad part is, is, again, you're really programming this when we're really doing this in real life. But it sucks for right now when we're talking about theory-wise, you know, to draw this all out. But bad part is, when it comes to an exam or something like that, and you're getting asked to do a parse tree, this is what it's going to look like. So get kind of used to being a little bit on the longer side and try to give yourself space when we're doing this. Now I'm using the J-flap that we talked about earlier, so it makes it look nice and pretty and stuff like that. But try to give yourself as much room as possible when you're drawing things out because as you can see, things start kind of getting unwieldy here. So in the, the real difference between the two really wasn't all that much except for one spot. I tried to draw within levels here, so there's going to be some lines that draw across here. But you'll notice that the multiplication, the only difference between the two real algorithms was literally one had a plus and one had a multiplication sign. That's it. But notice the tree also reflected that because the addition that I'm pointing at right now is just slightly high, just one level higher than the same, almost the exact same equation, but this time has a multiplication. And there it is, they're just one level lower. So go figure. But it also is really important that pretend that C or that B plus C had a multiplication symbol in there times another B or something like that. We would have to worry about that to make sure that multiplication was just a slight bit lower in our grammar, which is funny. You think lower in the tree is bad, but that means it has a higher precedence because, again, we've got to solve from bottom up. So that is our answers for those two equations.